God damn it. Hashtag long live the king MJJ.
anniversary thriller. Forty years and counting. Still number one thriller album. The song the world now recognizes as Thriller was originally titled Starlight. You'll hear first from songwriter Rod Temperton, followed by Quincy Jones, as they discuss the legendary screen actor Vincent Price's important role in the recording of Thriller. Yeah, it's, it was quite a, a funny story. When I wrote Thriller, I'd always envisioned this kind of talking section at the end. And um, didn't really know what we were going to do with it. But uh, one thing I'd thought about was to have somebody, a famous voice in the horror genre, to do um, this vocal. Uh, Quincy's wife knew Vincent Price. And so it was Quincy said to me, how about if we got Vincent Price? And I said, well, that'd be amazing if we could, you know, get him. So... He spoke to his wife and, and they got it together and Vincent said he would love to do it. So it was all set up that he would come in and do it. Then, and the idea was going to be that he would just talk some horror talk from right. the type of lines he would deliver in, in some of his famous roles. And right up until the night before the session. And just before I went to bed, Quincy called me and said, you know, the session's at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and I'm a bit scared because Vincent's never been in on a, a pop record before. Uh, I don't know that he's ever recorded in such a manner with, with music tracks and headphones and everything. And it may, he may, it may be difficult for him to come up with something to do. So perhaps you better write something uh, for him to say um, just in case we get stuck. So I said... Okay, no problem. I'll get up tomorrow morning and uh, write it before we come to the studio. So I went off to bed, and the very next morning at nine o'clock, the bell rings, and uh, I'd totally forgotten this, but my publisher from England had come over to America, and it had always been planned that we would have breakfast that next morning. And he came and arrived, and I thought, oh my. Goodness, you know, I'm supposed to write this thing, but I've got this lengthy meeting. And so I had the breakfast with my publisher and had a long business meeting, which went up till noon. And uh, the session was at two o'clock. And finally, my publisher left, and about 10 past 12, the phone rings, and it's Quincy. He says, how are you doing? Have you, have you got something? And I said... Yeah, well, don't worry about it. I'll have something. Uh, I'm just finishing it off. <laughs> and so I hung up and got a piece of paper and frantically started to write some stuff. And just one of those lucky times, that uh, it just flowed out of me. Uh, I mean, it, well, I'd written all the lyrics for the song. 
and, and the, the theme of the whole thing was so strong anyway that it's quite easy to visualise all these kind of lines that uh, Vincent would say. And so I started writing and I wrote one verse there while I was waiting for the taxi. And then I got in the taxi and while I'm going to the studio, I'm, I wrote two more whole verses. Of which, so, so I wrote three uh, verses of, of poetry or rap uh, and we only needed two in the end anyway. And as I arrived at the studio, I saw a car pull up and out steps Vincent Price. And the taxi pulled around the back of the studio and I dived out of the cab, raced in the back door, said to the secretary, photocopy this quick. And uh, they put it on the music stand and he walked in and sat down in his chair and off we went. She's from my world
city's heart begins to beat Reaching out, I touch her shoulder I'm dreaming of a street If they say why, why Tell them that it's human nature Why, why does he do it that way If they say Yeah. 